Hey NASCAR fans, down here from the NASCAR Roblox edition about forges in real life cars, right? Where today, welcome to my private server inside Just Daytona. So, before we're going to be spawning some cars, we have the VIP menu around here inside of the private servers. Well, we might be able to get no longer around here. So, the private server is still free. Because it's slightly going to be using for everyone, but not going to be slightly crashes anyways. So, let's just try to open up the menu onto your right as well, to the bottom of their guest. After we'll be seeing around through this inside of this going to be one thing. Because of the PS5 menus are just absolutely loud, suitable for, for some sort of a PlayStation company. So, we have to disable the conveyor. We cannot disable the spin because that was going to be important to do. So we don't enable the ramps. We're going to be using to change the blowover force. The car speeds will be going to be using for a kilometers an hour. The normal speed is 330 kilometers maximum. Now let's just going to be the limit. It is 500 to 600. It's absolutely going to be cost for blame Roblox or robux for the limit as well so probably we're gonna be trying to make it itself for 365 or probably this is where we're gonna be making so cars are more dangerous going really fast for 221 miles per hour and that is the final so let's go and spawn the cars soft bodies are available inside of a private servers and menu so, we have sort of the 1970s cars and the 1980s aero cars, but looks like we're going to be picking up for itself, we're not using anything, but I guess the generation 4 cars are really available like these things, and they uh, look awesome and amazing, I probably it was going to be absolutely yes. But what about the 2001 Generation 4, it will be coming out, and because sort of the soft bodies as well, the car of tomorrow wings and without the wings, and probably the futuristic, it must be the bridge force without the downforce as the Generation 6. The Generation 7 cars are probably accessible for some sort of a custom schemes anyways. The trucks and Xfinities are still available around here for many more. The soft bodies are inside of the private servers. If you just gonna be trying to own the private server, that isn't gonna be the friend that is only mine for so long. But it looks like for the 1987 soft body, the 1990 soft body, the 2001, the generation 4, generation 6 and 7. The missed cars that were available like the Florida man car. And the AMR Silverado, which is the HSE support, the pace car is still slightly available like this one. The ambulance, or there must be somewhere available, is Lina McQueen, <coughs> only in the private server. So, if before we're going to be good things to go around here, there must be one secret thing. It's always in the private servers that you'll be getting around for this video, since comments that I just told him to try to get this thing into the private servers and eventually if you just wanted to join the group just the limit is over a hundred groups we wanted to get driven as well so we cannot able to quick spawn the car and Lightning McQueen is unbreakable by using the Florida man car and it's absolutely extremely top speed as well so we're gonna be talking about for the for the old cars and look like this Probably over 300 miles per hour is going to be literally able to spawn around here. So, let's do that I just literally to say Pontiac. We're going to be trying to do this, but anyways, we're going to be jumping into somewhere extreme top speed of the vehicle. Let's just going to be pick it up to use the number 42. And I guess it's absolutely pretty somewhere... For some kind of a use of the, the days of thunder, I guess. Now, this is literally Richard Petty. 
and we're going to be using to get all the way for around for a top speed as well and oh dear this is not going to be literally suitable if I just going to be smooth out of for the top speed of acceleration there must be somewhere I need to say the road course is open and the public servers available now and it looks like we're in for a top speed of 222 miles per hour which is going to be better I guess 221 miles per hour the top speed of the Lamborghini Benigni we're going to be seeing in the television spectate menu and probably that doesn't sound pretty good as well but it's a pretty good of top speed I guess and well then it's pretty crazy now we're gonna be trying to set things for a minimum of top speed is 366 miles per hour that we're completely good and change the top speed is 222 miles per hour and then I got snuggle around with crashes around itself by using the aero cars but we just eventually use of this car and trying to abuse about it so now we got on the, the caution itself but pretty good to go but I guess we eventually use this vehicle for so much we're slightly out of control and it's not possibly we do because the controls of those old vehicles were slightly changed that the VIP menu that were set all cars into exact top speed that controls the speed of the cars are going to be getting uncontrollable so next thing we're going to be testing out the soft bodies but it looks like I'm about to using but it's only one Terminator itself the 2001 soft body is going to be about to use Dale Earnhardt Sr and looks like as you can see about for his name over here now but all of their cars in private servers that I'm going to be switched into top speed of 222 miles per hour by using the VIP menu. But that is all how to get fast in just Daytona. Also, if yes, we're going to be using of this feature, maybe we should be able to turn itself to go fast. But looks like it's going to be a little bit hurt though and it's hard to get even closer to the yellow line itself but this is even more perfect to get more top speed and it's harder to overtake some other kinds of drivers but looks like this is absolutely going to be very intimidating as well by using of the top speed of their vehicles that can cause to do this when during a race it is legal to use this as a regulation of this thing the speed limits should be 191 miles per hour. Unfortunately, that cannot able to set things into 206 miles per hour on their modern vehicles. And then in this some kind of a first like these models, we're slightly that I just gonna be using for the the Fiat menu around here. But the changes in the belt of these vehicles of the currency that currently in the top speed there will be it said let's just reset the speed into 191 miles per hour to reset it we're just gonna be I'm um, probably we're gonna be reset of this damage out here I should be able to complete like these things as well so we reset down to 191 miles per hour but looks like feel free to just going to be completely slowing down to be the Intimidator, which is going to be slightly boring. So, but, uh, I'm probably I uh, should never be able to let them down as possible. Now we're going to be switched right here into the 2007 Dodge Charger as well. So let's decelerate it back, and we're going to be returned to 366 miles per hour, just in case. Let's just gonna be spawn a instead of with a soft body is as well. After you have been stepped out of the vehicle, the vehicle cannot be despawned anyways until further notice. So let's return back into the generation four and we're gonna be spawning a Dodge Charger 
but the witches are going to be slightly able to do this perfect. Let's choose the number 10 Valvoline using by those American reference about where this property you like these things. I'm not going to be going around for itself for just completely a little bit for just longer. So in just in case of this thing, I'm probably accessible for just a various top speed. When the the private servers have just got game pass around here, I won't be able to get result for many more Robux as to be so as anyway. Until the future updates that isn't going to be going for game pass when in the end of their qualification about for this thing. And during the qualifications about for this, it's going to be such as a one best thing to do this. Private service. It looks like we're going to be doing somewhere other kinds of best. Improvements of the lap times isn't going to be better much to do anyways as well. Let's just try to do for one thing. So, I'm probably we're going to be doing this for any much more longer as well and the engine sounds has just got smoother as well but looks like I'm probably gonna be doing this really fast and looks like we're gonna be taking this on the first person the roof camera as well and we're probably we're making that able to just finish around itself as you can see with the replay broadcast it's absolutely pretty smooth but we can able to see a result of this thing I'm about to go back and let's jump out of the vehicle which is slightly awesome for over 40 seconds and I really think I was happy to the end of this video for at always completely despawned except for the soft body vehicles as well that automatically despawned the vehicles as well now I probably we're gonna be end of this video as well probably 41.950 48.142 and which is slightly even more faster I guess so if you enjoyed this video for around how to get fast in just Daytona but only in private service leave a like and subscribe and click the bell if you like for and anyways for a top speed the limited is or some sort of limit is 500 or 600 kilometers or studs per second. Thanks for watching and support. And probably the game is linked in the description down below. You can create your own private servers. Anyways, this is going to be Turbo Concept is signing off. And I'll see you NASCAR fans all later.